Hey, what's up, Sandy? How's it going? Hey, Michael and Ali. We have a guest. We have Ali back by popular demand. We have Hi, everyone. Ali. Great to see everyone. Great to be back. It's a pleasure talking to you guys every time. No, man, it's a always, pleasure. It's a pleasure. Always. If anybody is watching or listening, Ali has a really nice shirt on. Ali, what can we do to get that shirt? You can yeah. get the shirt by going to DocSites.com on the contact page. Just say, I saw Ali on the podcast or on this video. Here's my address and we'll get you that free shirt. Just give us your size and your address. That's no so cool. Plastic ass, no strings attached. Just a holiday <laughs> gift from DocSites. Okay, nice, uh, nice. That was unexpected. I didn't even you know, like. What you know, I have to say, Ali, every time I've seen you or your people that work with you, it's like everybody's so freaking nice. Uh, we yeah, we try to just stay nice, like the same way we are outside of work. We try to be at work, and it gets reciprocated. I was in a meeting a few months ago, and uh, all the attendees were just like your booth it was like a magnet. Everybody was over there with your people. It is awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. But uh, yeah, definitely. If you're listening and you're like, hey, I can use that shirt. Go get it. It's a nice right. shirt. It's that good, nice, soft material. It's not those old school square haze, you know, thick. Yeah. On yeah. To go to DocSites.com, put your name, uh, address, size, mention this podcast, and we'll get you one right away. Nice. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Of course. <laughs> so in this episode, we're going to be diving in to three main things. So kind of break it down for us, Ali, if you can. Sure. There's essentially three steps to succeeding in marketing online. You know, it's, it's a joint effort. It's the marketing company's job, as well as the practice to help facilitate those steps. So the first step is getting found, right? You can have the best website, the best photos, the best everything. But if you're not found, then what's the point, right? You need to do ads, do SEO, social media, whatever you have to do to put yourself in front of your audience's eyeballs, which is step one, getting found. Step two is once you get found, you have to convert them. And what helps convert someone when they get to your site? Great reviews, that's the office's job to get, nice photos, technology, offers, all the stuff that someone feels uh, enough trust to pick up the phone or click to call. It's our job to present that properly, to get you found, to present you, showcase you, but we can't do that without you guys getting those good reviews, without you guys sending us some photos, without you guys making the team aware of what's going on with the marketing. Because without that, what happens is a lot of money gets wasted. And, you know, we always have doctors that come to us and say like, oh, I'm ready to throw 2000 bucks at Google, or I was already throwing $2,000 at Google doing ads myself. What do you think? And then we look at their sites. It's a stocky website. They have 100 reviews on Google. None of them are on their mm. site. And they're expecting why, like, they feel like money is being wasted. This is that page is not converting. So step two is converting them. So get found, convert them. The joint effort of us presenting you properly and you giving us the resources, the assets, the photos, getting good reviews, doing a good job, having a nice clean office, sending us photos. When we put all that together, then when someone finds you, then they're likely to pick up the phone, call you, make an appointment, take advantage of your offer, whatever that is. And then once that phone rings or the web lead comes in or the appointment form gets sent to your staff's email, that's all the office's job is to, can you close that lead? Is the person answering the phone, fighting with you know, insurance, dealing with the unhappy patient, talking to the doctor? You got to have someone that's able to facilitate closing the, the, the deal, basically. They have to get the person in the office and actually you have to probably close the deal with the case acceptance if it's something larger or if they're coming to you for Invisalign implants or some of these things we do apps for. So if I could go back to step two real mm -hmm. quick, mm -hmm. the conversion. So like, let's say someone's doing implant ads and they just send someone to a page that says what implants are and how they help versus someone that does implants ads and send someone to a page that says, Here's our implant offer. We have a free consult. Here's our before afters. Here's our actual patients. Here's our great reviews. Here's the doctor's specialty training. Those are the kind of things that are going to help convert a good quality patient to come into your practice. But if that good quality patient calls and you guys don't pick up the phone or you guys don't call him back right away, you wait two weeks to get back to him, he's going to move on. So step three is, you know, managing leads, closing leads, getting them in. And they're not leads, they're patients, but you still have to treat them like 
a sales system where someone has to be on top of it. Someone has to follow up. Someone has to be good on the phone. Someone has to get them in the chat. Someone has to read their message. Like I have a Tuesday or something shipped. And then when you get them on the phone, hey, you have a chip too. We can get you in right away. Connect with them and get them in because step three has two steps. It's getting them in and then closing the deal, which is getting paid or, you know, getting their insurance. But that's all internal. So make sure all those things are in place before you throw money at marketing. And another thing, you know, I was thinking about this, Ali, is like, we know how important it is. You know, and I know, and Michael, I mean, we talk about this all the time. You can get, have a great marketing, but if the phones aren't answered and the person answering the phone doesn't do a good job, okay, answering the phone is not enough. Responding to the leads is not enough. Skill is enough, okay? You need the skills. And if you have team members that are spending five, six, seven, eight, 10, 12 or more minutes on the phone with the, with this prospect, that's too long. So we try to keep those calls for new patients down to three or four minutes. Exactly where you come in with step three is most offices need help with dealing with leads, closing in case acceptance. And many of them, you know, Sandy's services, consulting with people that have been in the practice will help make step three much better because Yes, step one and, and two don't mean anything if step three doesn't happen. I mm-hmm. do have a question. So, because I'm very much into statistics, right? Practice monitors, keeping score. So, and you're talking about tracking. So I'm curious, when you work with people, how does that work, the tracking? Is that something that the practice does on their own? Yeah, typically it's what the practice has to do because... Here's what happens, and I and I love being transparent about the industry. And a doctor will call a marketing company. Marketing company gets defensive, wants to justify. Here's a bunch of reports, metrics, data, bounce rates. None of that means anything if doctors have my appointment books empty and no one's coming in, right? You mm-hmm. could have the best data. You could be on page one of Google. You could show you the fanciest reports. But if your phone's not ringing and you're you can't say, "Hey guys, I'm actually." attributing some new patients to this marketing that I just started, then that's an internal problem you need to sort, right? So it's like 10 leads come every month. John Smith says, I found you on Google. This guy found your ad. Your internal office needs to at the end of the month, a doctor should review this and say, okay, we got 10 leads from Google, which is our marketing. What happened to them? Did they come in? Did they not? We can't track that. We don't know what happened once they passed the lead part. So yes. So I love that you're encouraging your your clients to do that, that, yep. that they're actually tracking. I mean, you have to do that, and, right? And we track too. We have Google Analytics. We have click to call We track everything. We go but, over the metrics anytime, and we do that pretty often. Like you're getting sound for these keywords, or if you're doing an Amazon ad, we might say if they're doing Google ads. Some people, like in Beverly Hills, it costs $30 a click. For, for the same ad, costs $3 a click and somewhere in like, you know, St. Louis. So it differentiates from everywhere you are based on competition, based on those things. And you try, you have to try to maximize that money because Google will take that money. You can raise your budget all day and Google will take it. There's no like, they'll call you from India and try to tell you how to do it better. And, you know, but they don't know anything about marketing. They don't know anything about dentistry. They don't know how, you know, patients look at practices. They're just Google ads, tech people from India. So a lot of people do their own ads and they think they're doing good just because they get that call from Google trying to tell them to move your budget up or whatever they try to say. But in most cases, the basics are missing. They're doing an app for implants. They're sending someone to the homepage. It has nothing about implants on there and they're wondering why they're not getting implant leads. So these are the things the marketing company needs to help fine tune. Mm. Okay. Just to switch gears just a little bit because As you were talking about that, it made me think about a conversation that I had just this week with a doctor who said, I may need to do some marketing. So if there's anybody listening here and they're not doing any marketing, what would you say to them or how, what do they need to do to to know? Like, okay, they, they realize they're not getting enough new patients. Maybe they've introduced some new services and they're thinking about it. So what's going to make them know it's the right thing to do? Sure. So that brings up a great point because 
We get calls all the time from dentists that just want a website and don't even want marketing because they're already getting the referrals, the word of mouth. Some of them are booked out for months. They, they don't even want to do marketing, but they're missing the good web presence that helps get them better patients, better referrals. Let's say that we're getting 50 visits a month with no marketing. Those 50 visits would do much better if you have a better website to represent you. So they don't necessarily have to jump into marketing. First, look at your website, your overall presence. Make sure it's presentable. Make sure it represents you properly. If you have good reviews, put the time into the website and then say, okay, now do I need marketing? And to answer your question, marketing is not an overnight thing. Many people think it is. I always tell people it's better for you to get the smaller package and pay like 300 bucks for a year than to buy the bigger package and pay 600 bucks for two months and say, mm. it's too expensive, it doesn't work, I hate SEO. And you know how it gets. It's a long-term game. It's not, that that right enough. there makes a lot of sense to me. It because... happens all the time. They jump from company to company and they're upset and they hate SEO, they hate marketing, they think every company's bad. It's unfortunately, it's, this industry is also the Wild West. You know, there's guys on Facebook that are saying, We'll get you a hundred patients, you know, guaranteed, or we'll pay you back. And a lot of dentists, unfortunately, go for those things and they don't get results. And there's no shortcut. Yeah. Sorry, there's no shortcut mm -hmm. in marketing. Yeah. You've got to build momentum yeah. for sure. Yeah. Interesting. So then what is the most common mistake? Because when we're talking about these three points, the getting found, converting, what happens when the lead comes in? And if we were to reverse engineer that, it's basically you're the you're at the top. You're number one, right? You're like, okay, now that you've honed in on everything, let's focus in on the marketing. And then that's when people hire you, right? They're like, okay, I want Ali from DocSites. Now, when that happens, what is the most common mistakes you've seen when you track and people are not seeing their results? Let's say they're doing a Google ad. Put yourself in the shoes of someone on Google. Do you go click the ads typically or do you click over and go to the organic? Supposedly seven out of 10 people jump over the ads. The people that click the ads are more of the group arm, deal shopper, less savvy type. So that's to be known when you're doing Google ads, you might get more of that type of patients versus the SEO that's more long-term, that's online. And even if you compare that to a Facebook ad where someone hasn't even searched for a dentist, at least with Google ads, they search for a service. So they do the marketing, they do Google ads, but they don't have a good offer and I'm sorry, you know, a lot of offices don't like the word offer, specials, or discounts, but the people that are clicking ads, that's what they're looking for. Go to Google yourself, then Google Invisalign in your city, and look at those prices, 3000 4000 We're doing implant specials for like aggressive, aggressive deals on ads, like 1200 down, includes the crown. So you got to know that with ads, you have to look at your competition. If everyone's got you know, Invisalign promos and ads and free consults and iTero scans, and you just want to come in there and just do ads for Invisalign, you're not going to win. Those guys are going to beat you. Even if you're outranking them, their ads going to say a thousand off, your ass is going to say top rated Invisalign dentist. So mm -hmm. there has to be a plan in place. We always say like, what are you trying to target? What service are you going for? Are you just more general looking for to be found for like dentist near me in your area? Maybe a new patient offer, maybe an emergency, get them in the same day. You don't necessarily have to put a price to it, but you have to, the guys for the ads need incentives to click and call and take action. So the best thing to do is check out your uh, competition, see what they're doing, give that feedback to the marketing company, which we do on our demos. Anyone calls us for a web assessment, by the way, to you guys, we'll do this with them live or we'll give them a video that they can look at when they're less busy. That goes over all this. We'll look at the competitors. Hey, this guy might have this offer. You know, you're in a cluster of a lot of dentists. What's going to make you stand out? So, you know, hopefully the marketing company is not just a Facebook nerd that knows how to press buttons, right? They know marketing. They know business. They know growth. They know the staff plays a part. It's not just like someone that knows how to do ads. It's not enough. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I like that. And then when it comes to the offers, I know we talked about that a little bit. If it's like, hey, Ali, I want quality patients, right? I mean, what, what I mean by that is like, I don't want someone who's just going to leave me for the next best deal. Long game wise, how much do we expect to be running on our marketing? Because I know we were saying we just drop people. Oh, I'm not sure. seeing results within two months. So I'll answer that too. And you don't have to do offers. You 
For example, we went over a client last time, Dr. Ashley Parrish. She doesn't do any kind of offer. She doesn't do any discount. She has an in-house dental plan. But what she has is she has great work that she's done. She has happy patient testimonials. She has herself on the website. She has her before afters. So those are the things that help her convert. She doesn't do an offer per se, but she also gives enough resources to us to present her in a way where someone will say, wow, her work is amazing. I don't care if she's not cheap. I'm going to pay 30K for my porcelain veneers. So that's the other way to look at it is don't come to us and say, I want to do ads and then say, I want to kill it with implants and then never have done an implant case, never could provide us the implant before, after, don't have any consults. You know, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it, but you can't like, um, I can't sell websites if I have no samples of doing websites. I can't sell marketing if I've never could show a Google ranking. So same with dentistry. You don't think you're going to be the implant king if you don't have any implants to show, if you don't have a good offer, if your neighbor's getting super aggressive, you got to find, you know, your way in, whether it's you doing much more quality work and that's why it's more expensive, but you have to showcase that. You have to give us the before after. I could show you some implant websites, you know, guys that do all on four and teeth in a day, and they're constantly taking very good quality photos. We're putting them on their site. They're putting them on their own social. They don't just rely on us. This is like a offline. They go pass out flyers with all their implant cases. So again, think of someone that would want to make a decision to hire you for a case that's cost a lot of money. What would they need to see to pick up the phone and call a stranger and say, I'm willing to pay you 10, 20, whatever thousand dollars for these big cases. What would make them pick up the phone? And great, we accomplished that. That's 50% of it. Now the phone rings, that other 50% comes. Can you turn that lead into a $30,000 veneer, full mouth, small makeover? Mm, gotcha. Okay. We okay. can't do that. The Can... website's never going to sell that, that case for you. Yeah. But you're, so what it sounds like is it never stop documenting, right? Never stop like taking the pictures as many as you can. Like It's your work. It's your work. It's what sells you. It's what people have to see to come in. If you have a thousand Invisalign cases and you showcase 20 of them and you have five videos of people that took off their Invisalign saying, oh my God, I feel so good. Put that side by side with the guy that just says, here's what Invisalign is. This guy's going to win every time, even with a smaller budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. I love all these great points that you're making. Mm -hmm. And I think it for listeners that some people already have a marketing company, they're not getting results. So hearing all these things that you guys do can help them make a decision to give you a call. And more interestingly, a lot of offices have this stuff, but they don't use it. So many doctors we talked to, like, I have a hundred of before afters on my phone. Where has anyone ever seen them? No. Okay, let's send them. Let's get, let's see them. Let's. Get them out there. So they already have the great reviews. They have their before afters. They have a nice looking office, but they just have to spend that 20 minutes, Promote. 30 minutes, whatever it is, just sending that email, text it to us. We'll make your life easy. You don't have to go fill out a ticket system like the IT company. Just text us the photo, do whatever you got to do to send it over. I love that. Yeah. I love Super streamlined, super streamlined. We already know that about you guys, about how easy it is to update the website. So what you're saying aligns with that. And I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. Yep. We try to, you know, get those done as soon as possible. That's another thing in the industry. People saying they've waited three weeks, two weeks for basic updates or even like urgent things. Like we fired someone, we need her off our site immediately. You know, those things we jump on, but we have like people that come to us looking to get out of their current relationship just because they have still not removed that employee that's been fired. It's not even like a bad website. They just don't like the service. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, no, that's quick. So then that kind of leads us to the question, why doc sites, right? Like compared to, I mean, there's a, there's a lot, right? Like you said, there's, there's that one guy on Facebook where he's like, Hey, I can do it all for like 80 bucks. Right. Or whatever. And then there's a major company. But why doc sites? There's that guy on Facebook saying I could do it for free. There's the guy that's charging you 20K and there's doc sites that's more in between that. But all of our pricing is on our website, docsites.com. That's one thing we do that many companies don't do. And you could go Google the 10 marketing companies out there for dental and see who puts their pricing on there. 
who makes it super transparent, who doesn't have long-term contracts, who can you call and get a free web assessment? Hey, stop right there. What do you mean long-term contracts? People do not like long-term contracts. What it, tell me more. It's months and months. Everything's months and months. You give us a 30-day notice. A lot of these companies, not only do they do like one-year, two-year contracts, that's fine. One-year contracts, so that was the norm with SEO. But don't auto-renew someone for two years without them knowing. Like, this just happened to someone and like, Doctors are mad when this happens. They're like talking lawyers and legal and like, don't yes. want to renew someone unless you know they're happy. But whatever, we don't even do that initial one-year contract. Just because like, why would we want to force someone to stay with us if they're not happy? It's bad for us. It's bad for them. There's no win there. These companies do it because, you know, they have salespeople that gets crazy. You know, it's like, we're not like that sales commission that we're just like in client acquisition. We're in their service game and trying to build a company. and. We do it a lot differently. We're not trying to force anyone to be with us if they don't like us. You know, we make the transition out easy. We don't do any contracts, the website for the marketing. None of it has a contract. We just ask you, give it the due time it needs for marketing to work. And we give you all the realistic expectations when you call us. We don't oversell. We don't promise you leads and rankings and 100 patients next month and we just do it the good old fashioned, honest way, but we need stuff from you to present you properly to get you better results. You know, your honesty, it shines through. Before you use the word honest, I was already thinking that their honesty, it just, it's just out there. Okay. And I think that's a lot of stories on Facebook about people, you know, getting screwed over. I, I can really respect that with you guys. And I'm not even saying other companies aren't honest or anything like that. It's just, you don't need to go crazy with that fine print and that corporate model of like, you know, you're just a web marketing company. You don't need to auto renew someone for two years. Like they don't even like you after three months and you're auto renewing them for another two years. Now the doctor hates every marketing company and feels that way about all of us and thinks all of us have that. And when they come to us, they're defensive and we got to, you know, like, re-educate and calm them down again with marketing. So please don't hate all marketing companies and don't get turned off by the word SEO and give, really give so. it a chance. Yeah. Sounds good. Wonderful, wonderful. Awesome. So then any final pieces of advice, Ali or Sandy, that you want to give to our listeners? Well, for me, for me, I say call doc sites. Let them take a look at what you're doing now. Let them see how they can help you guys. Uh, it's worth it, right? It's just, it doesn't cost you anything. Even Let if you're a contract. Well. Just yesterday, there was a doctor from your group, Dr. Vinley. He's working with his dad's good friend that he doesn't want to hurt his feelings, but that's okay. He's going to give them another chance. And what we did for them is we made them a huge list of all the things that that guy could put in place to make you do better without working for us. He's going to go implement those with his current guy and see how it does. Hopefully it does well. And if it doesn't, he- wow. He could come you higher. did that? Yeah, we you do that. that. We do that him? for all your members. It's the complimentary web assessment. They just come to us. We give them free tips. If you're in contract, no problem. You might be doing things great. And we we say, like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. You know, there's no reason yeah. to shift gears. If, it's, if someone's obsessing about, like, I'm on page position three. I want to be on position one. Then, you know, that's kind of a red slide because that's really hard to get them, that's when we have to educate them and go over those things. But in most cases, the basics are missing. Get the free assessment. There's no strings attached. We'll send you a free t-shirt for your time. Just reach out. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. And guys, get the free t-shirt no matter what. Yeah. Like, go to the website. Let me throw this out there too. We have a Black Friday promo through your group as well this month. Mm-hmm. You could get $750 off anytime in November off any of our websites, which makes our basic one is low as 250 and our high, highest end one like 2250. So still a great site. Check out the samples on docsites.com. Check out the pricing. Feel comfortable. Reach out. Mention this podcast. Mention Sandy and Michael. And uh, we'll definitely do that web assessment, get you a t-shirt, and hopefully give you some good advice you could use with or without us. Nice. Very good. Hey, when does the Black Friday deal end? Like on Black Friday or... No, we'll, we'll stretch it to the end of November. And, you know, if you call us, even on the the weekend of Black Friday, if you reach out, we're pretty responsive. You know, we'll get back to you via email. We're not going to let you hang for a week wondering if this deal is still available. We're easy to work with. My personal cell phone number is 
0007. You could text me directly and we could talk just like that. You don't have to go through Facebook or any uh, our website. Just text me and mention this podcast and we'll get you that web assessment and any information you may need. Nice. Triple oh seven. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So the Black Friday deal, make sure you go and check it out. Get your free assessment no matter what, right? It's free. It's a free assessment to see what you're doing. Uh, see how your marketing's working and how your marketing company currently is working for and, you as well. And we're not just going to send you that generic SEO report that most companies do and say, here you go, figure it out. We'll actually take the time. I'll personally get on the Zoom with you. We'll do a screen share. We'll Google your name. We'll Google your practice. It's that kind of web assessment. It's not just a generic report that you'll never use. It's an actual business finding online and helping you make the most of your efforts. Mm -hmm. Wow, you can't beat that. Yeah. I highly recommend you guys contact Ali, contact DocSites, get it set up, take advantage of the Black Friday special. Take advantage of it. So if you want to talk about this episode, come on the podcast or submit any questions, then you can do so by joining our Facebook group, Dental Gumbo, and you can talk with Ali there. And you can also talk with Sandy or myself. And at the same time, thank you all so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you in the next episode. Thank Bye, you so everybody. much.